another weekly haul video. Uh, it's a two video week, isn't it? Um, some weeks you just end up doing more sourcing. Uh, starting it off with a couple of purchases that I made early in the week. I'm going to record these as I go. Um, so I was forced to go to Savers, literally forced. Um, and I picked up two handbags, which is great because I don't pick up handbags very often. Um, this is a Kate Spade, and it is snakeskin. I uh, can't remember. Somebody told me what the lining is. So in the store, I took pictures of them and sent them to one of my groups to find out, because I don't know purses very well. Look, it's an amazing condition. Um, the only flaw I could find, actually, it, mm, it's like a tiny snag right there. I'm just going to, those tiniest, tiniest rip. Anyway, I might put a little glue there so it doesn't get worse. Uh, anyway, I sent pictures and then I also googled how to tell if your Kate Spade is fake um, and it did the, I mean one of them was like, buy from a reputable dealer. Well, I was at Savers, so thank you. Uh, but anyway, the, the T in Kate and the N in New York need to be lined up, which they are inside and out on both these bags. I was able to find these two exact bags. Uh, one had sold, and I don't know if the other one did. Uh, so anyway, and then someone in one of my groups said, yes, she knows bags. These are authentic. Yay! Because I don't do well finding bags. And this is a pink leather Kate Spade. That's nice. Uh, also, this one I saw sold on Poshmark for 50 and mine's in better shape. It does have a little bit of wear here. Um, I'm going to put a little Wonder Balsam on there. Um, I don't think it'll do much, but uh, other than that particular spot, uh, another one just on the bottom. The, the, the rest of it is like immaculate. Inside, very clean, beautiful fabric. So, um, yeah, if I if I could sell this for fifty on Poshmark, I'd be I'd be very happy. I don't know about the other one; I haven't researched it. So, anyway, uh, this is just the first installment. Picked this one up, and uh, it actually sold. I picked it up, listed it, and it's sold the next day, and it's already shipped. But anyway, it is a brown North Face. Um, quilted down filled jacket. It's a girl's size large. Um, so happy that went fast. I guess that was a good pickup. No surprise. All right. This is, um, the brand is Summit Quality. It's a Summit Quality REI. So I don't know if it's exclusive to REI or if it's their label. Um, but it is a, it doesn't have a size on it, but it's, a woman's jacket. I can tell that based on the snaps. And I just love it. It's Gore-Tex. I tried it on. I would I would say it's a, a medium. It fits me well. Um, you want to wear something like this looser. So it is looser, um, but not huge. It's perfect. So you can wear a warm sweater under it. I love it. And I wish it didn't fit me so perfectly. But it does. Doesn't matter. It's not mine. It's like it's like the cats I foster. I know they're not mine, so I won't be sad when they go. Um, this is a Dallas Cowboys jacket. Ugh. Do you think this is vintage? I don't know why I think this could be vintage. Something somebody said about it. But anyway, it's a warm coat. Like it's. I don't know what it's filled with. Whether it's down filled or some sort of other filling, but it's got that quality. So nice and, you know, warm. Uh, this is a size large. I did pick up a bunch of pants, all in small sizes. Um, they might have been a questionable purchase, but I made the purchase and I will deal with it. Um, you can tell me what you think. Uh, they are brands that I don't have. So that's good. I like to, I like to uh, add new, new brands to my closet that might bring people that are searching for that brand, but then see other things. I don't know. Anyway, these are Pilcrow and the letterpress. They're a nice like chino pant 
in uh, khaki green. They are a size, I think all of these pants might have belonged to the same person. This is a size 26. Fit is called hyphen. Um, like I said, they're all pretty small, but I'm probably going to try them on just to see how small they are. <sighs> Hopefully not keep any. Okay, this is, ow! I need to figure out a better way to do this, probably. But anyway, uh, these are James, standard James Purse, size zero. They have an elastic and drawstring waist, and they are just a black, like, lightweight cotton. Um, narrow here. Like, unstructured pants, I would say. I'm curious what they're made out of. They are, oh, 98% cotton, so just, you know, a leisure pant, sort of sporty. Um, I actually pass this brand by all the time because I have one sweater by it that does nothing, um, but I bought these David Buffalo David Bitten size 27 jeans. They just look nice. I think the rise is about seven inches, which I think is considered a low rise. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, and they're a, I would say, boot cut. Would you call that a boot cut? It is slightly wider than at the knees, so it's not a flare because it's not quite that wide at the bottom, but it's not straight. Um, these are Joe's black jeans. Size 27, the fit is honey, 98% cotton. They are in great shape, just a solid, like double black, doesn't show any sign of wear. Also, I would say a boot cut. If you know something different, please let me know. I appreciate all input. I'm still learning and always will be. Okay, these are light blue, which is not my favorite choice in a pair of pants, but I bought them anyway. Vince, size 2. I just thought they were nice. Also kind of a chino-style pant. Um, slightly lighter weight than a regular chino, I would say. Just a nice cotton. Um, nice style, and all of these pants are, like, perfect. Usually, you know, especially light blue, if they've been worn, they're going to show a little bit of discoloration here, and they don't. I know this light is not, lighting is not perfect, but I need to get this done now, and so now is when it's getting done. I don't have lighting set up for, the, for these videos. They're, they're very, you know, just basic. This isn't about the production values. It's about the clothes. Um, also, Vince, size 2. So you can see why I think these all belong to the same person. Now, I don't have any Vince. I did have a Vince t-shirt. It was a white t-shirt. It was stretched out and crappy, and someone still bought it. So I'm like, oh, I guess that's an okay name then. Uh, these are um, these are a linen blend, which was, and size two also, um, which was part of the reason why I like them. 60, 68% linen. That's a good amount of linen and viscose. So very lightweight. They have the flaps on the pockets, on the butt. I like that. They have pockets here, so they're sort of a dressier cargo pant. And then they, they have, they're they gathered at the ankle. Not heavily elastic-y, but it's, it's there. So that's an unusual style. We will see whether that's something somebody wants. <sighs> I'm willing to try some new things if the price is right. I, I got, you know, I got good prices on these. I'm very careful with my sourcing. Um, okay, this is vintage, and I'm looking for some vintage because I'm, you know, trying to stock my shop on Shop Thrilling, which is not that I've had, as far as I can tell, any interest in anything I've listed. I don't know how you can tell. I know I haven't had any offers or anything. I don't know how it works after you list it. We'll find out, maybe. Um, but I'm trying it, so I'm still trying to list. I did tell them 30 items in the first month, and I'm not getting there yet. Okay, so this is, look at that. Can you see? It's like two layers. It's a sort of lacy layer with a sheerish black behind it. Uh, 
So cool. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It is a size large, which is also good to get a bigger size in, um, in vintage. Though, I have to see, you know, usually like a large in vintage is more like a medium or sometimes small in modern day. But this looks like a decent size. And it, I would call it like an overshirt or a jacket. Okay, this is a coverall, boiler suit, whatever you want to call it. It's orange. I would actually like one of these, except I wouldn't wear orange, and then there's the whole bathroom thing that I would be concerned about. But anyway, also, you'd look like a safety cone in this one. But why did I buy it then? Well, people need it. Maybe someone wants to dress up as a safety cone for Halloween. It's a size 38 short. That's not a bad idea to be a safety cone. Anyway, new with tag. Uh, I'm thinking this, uh, not that I won't put it on Poshmark, but I'm thinking this should definitely, it's heavy though, that's the only thing, but it should definitely go on eBay, I think. I think, you know, some, whatever the kind of person would wear those, is more likely to be shopping on eBay than Poshmark, if they're wearing it for work. Alright, this blouse is Karl Lagerfeld, Paris. Um, it is a size small. I didn't, I didn't look up comps, I was, I was on a time crunch. And the Wi-Fi was kind of weird there, and I just some things I just want to try. So this is, I love this because it's a beautiful peach color. It's got that Shirley Partridge ruffled front, and and it's got uh, like pearl buttons, and you know the button on the sleeve so you can fold it up. It's a nice silky fabric though it is polyester. I don't know. I mean, call it Karl Lagerfeld is a designer that I've heard of. I don't know. If, I don't know if they're st if he's still ar if it's still around or what, but it was pretty enough. And then I do pick up Victoria's Secret in pink because I do sell it, um, not for tons of money, but I sell it. Um, this is pink by Victoria's Secret. It's just a gray hoodie. <sighs> There's nothing on the back. The front has this, which I believe says University of Pop, and has that dog that they seem to use on things. And then in gold, it's got University of Pop on the inside. It's a little, little, little inside design for just for the wearer to know. This is also pink, size large, and it's just a nice. Uh, is it cotton? Made in Sri Lanka. What is it made out of? I can't read it. Oh, I don't think that says what it's made out of. Oh, 60% cotton. And it's it's got the striping and I like mixed mixed patterns like that. So the striping goes across there and then on part of the sleeve, it's got that little doggy, doggy, doggy. And then boom surprise, it's got a sequin dog on the back, a big sequin dog. Who doesn't need a big sequin dog on their back? Huh. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right, aren't I? Okay, this is this is Adrienne Papel. Adriana Papel. Adriana is a is is a, a designer who does high end ready to wear. I have a beautiful dress of hers in my closet that gets no attention whatsoever. I think this might be vintage just the way the tag looks I have to look into it it's a hundred percent silk it's got that Asian like quality up front um, it has the the shoulder pads like that which always screams vintage to me um, I mean 90s maybe 80s 90s what do you think Look how pretty that is in perfect condition like everything it's I, I don't know. This store has stuff in good condition most of the time. Okay. This is Volcom. Volcom? Volcom? Volcom. Just a, a flannel plaid shirt. It seems longer than average. It is a size medium. Uh, buttons on the right, so it's a man's. Obviously, it could be it's unisex. I like the way that... Okay, it's an unusual plaid. Look at it. It's not your standard plaid. It's got a little window painting business going on. So, 
combination plaid window pane plaid, um, which I think is nice. Kind of elevates it over the standard flannel plaid shirt. Um, okay, this is uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. this is BKE Boutique, new with tag. Um, there's no price on it, but you see it says buckle, which I guess. What is buckle? I see people talk about buckle on on other videos, and then I heard someone say it's a mall store. I never I never heard of it before I started doing this, but I couldn't even tell you the last time I went into a mall. I do not like malls, especially indoor malls. Oh, they mess with my head. And retail. Ooh. Anyway, uh, very pretty, extra large. It is also that two layery thing where it's got the black lace outside backed by a. a I don't know, tobacco colored, and then the back has this like gentle V, mixture of lace, very pretty. If I can find new with tag, and it's a nice enough piece, I'm not turning it down. Okay, this is a bike bicycle jersey. Um, the brand is Wymo Star. I do need to look that up, but it was new with tag. I'm guessing it's a woman's because it's an what size is it? Hang on. It's extra large, but it doesn't seem huge. You know, and it, I mean, look just the pattern. Isn't that cool? Look at that big butterfly. Butterfly! And then it's got those pockets on the back end. What are those for? Like your water bottle? So you can just go like that? I'm guessing that. Anyway, there's no price tag on it. But it is new with tag. And I don't have anything like that. I don't have any bicycle stuff. Okay, we're almost near the end uh, of this particular portion. Um, this is super dry, which I seem to keep finding at this store. And it is, it's also plaid, and it's, but it's a heavy plaid. It's not exactly flannel. This is definitely like lumberjack heavy shacket. Um, the thing is, is it's a size large, and I tried it on, and it's not even big on me. It's like, I could wear it with a t-shirt, but it's not loose. Buttons are on the right though, so I'm thinking it's a boy's, but not like toddler boy, you know, like 10, 12 year old boy. I don't know what, where that, I don't know. I don't know anything about kids stuff, but there's no way that's a, a women's or a men's large. And this is also pink. It's just a plain light t-shirt. It's got the peace sign. Wait, what else does it have? You know what? I can't tell in this light. Okay, so yeah, it's like a peace sign interwoven with a heart, but it's very subtle. And it's like a yellow heathered fabric uh, and color, and then it has these cap sleeves. And the last thing in this bag is Spider Swim. Um, rash guard. So, surf, sand, sun. Sun protection. Uh, UP, UPF uh, 30 plus. Also new with tag. No price tags though. Size large, men's large, clearly. It's got this almost like uh, honeycomb pattern on it. All right, that's it in this bag anyway. Okay, it is now Saturday morning, and I'm, well, afternoon, and I am back from my normal Saturday place. I did not buy very much because I didn't want to buy very much. I've gotten a lot this week. You may already have noticed if you've made it this far. Um, so even what I put in my basket, I took out a lot of stuff. I just was ultra picky. Definitely a couple things I probably would have taken had I not oversourced this week. Anyway, I got, well, I got two metal frames that I bought for someone. I do a little, I do a little personal shopping and she was looking for specific types of frames, sent her pictures and she wanted them. So I'm not showing those cause they're not here. Anyway, I bought this Simpsons Christmas mug. The Simpsons. Do, 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 do. Christmas mug. Um, nice oversized mug that will be put with my Christmas mugs that will be put up eh, sometime. Uh, this is, okay, it says Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly. 
nice shaped mug. And then on this side it says, isn't the world full of wonderful things? Is that a quote from the musical Hello, Dolly? I mean, I thought, is it something that Dolly Parton says? But if it was for Dolly Parton, it would probably say like Dollywood on the back or something. So I don't know. I've got to look that up. But I, I could not leave it behind. Well, I could have if it was more expensive. But it wasn't. Uh, I bought a pair of maternity jeans. These are Topshop. Moto Maternity Lee, L-E-I-G-H, size 8, length 32. I don't have anything maternity. I had a pair of maternity shorts in my basket, too, and I just, just threw them back because I just knew, even if they sold, it would be for, like, pennies. And it's the kind of thing you bundle. I don't have enough. I don't have maternity stuff, so who's going to bundle it, you know, unless they're bundling shirts? I don't know. It just didn't seem worth my time. Um, I'm not sure these are either. And this is a pair of... I would say they're Bermudas. What do you think? Look at that. I'm going to try them on. They're size two, so they should fit me. Um, they're cut from the cloth. Nice crisps. Not thin like they've been worn a million times. They're in great shape. Those pockets. I oh, thought that was worth a try. And the last uh, item is a American Eagle. American Eagle outfitter. Size large. It's a woman's because the buttons are on the left. But it is a, well, it's a coat, really. It's a leather coat or jacket. It's a long jacket or a short coat. It's that, you know, car coat length. Nice condition. There's a couple of areas that I'm going to take a little Wonder Balsam to. Just a couple of white marks that are very surface. And I'm happy with that one. So that's Excuse me. everything. If you have not yet, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Um, it does make me happy when I have more subscribers, though I, I would like to have more, though, to no particular, uh, outcome, I don't know, I'm not, I'm whatever. Uh, and if you have any comments, please leave them down below. If you have a channel, let me know. I would love to subscribe. All right, I hope everyone's having a good weekend. I will see you on the next one.